It is the 19th of the 9th, 2013, and this is your radioactive reality. Start on E&E News, shall we? Officials concerned about 400-foot-tall pipe near Fukushima reactors collapsing during quake. Eight cracks found in support brace. Uh, government orders immediate investigation. TEPCO is unsure how to access the area as radi radiation levels around it are 10 sieverts per hour. And as you know, if you've been following this, 10 sieverts per hour is a lethal dose to human beings. Uh, messes with hardware the whole bit, so it's really hard for them to get a hold of. What they're not telling you is that TEPCO's measurements max out at 10 sieverts uh, per hour, and uh, it could be much, much higher than that. And uh, it's the support beam supporting the exhaust pipe in between, I believe, two and three reactor, and uh, God knows what's down in there. And uh, the radiation um, disintegrates and weakens the metal, so eventually that will fall over on top of an already saturated mud pit that is Fukushima Daiichi. Famous Japanese actress, government covering up Fukushima crisis, our nation has the right to know, and yes you do. People who write the truth on the internet will be punished under a new law. TV stars in Japan are never to discuss political views. I don't think uh, nuclear energy is a political issue. Uh, it's way beyond that, so feel free to say whatever you want. Uh, but again, Japanese Japan is passing these laws uh, where they're actually going to start um, persecuting people for reporting on the incident. New studies show radioactive materials being carried across the Pacific relatively intact from Fukushima. Big clouds of this stuff are moving through the currents in the ocean. On the west coast, we need to monitor these pockets of high contamination. Parts of areas may be affected in a significant way. Steam observed five of six previous days at Fukushima Unit Number Three. Uh, number Three has been steaming for quite a while now. It's getting more excessive. Uh, lasted more than 24 hours straight at one point. Nuclear expert: There could be pockets of corium still molten state. Nobody quite understands what's going on. And again, the corium has left the building, ladies and gentlemen, and they're not really sure what they're going to do about it. Uh, more reports on the fractured pipe uh, support beams. Buildings of Fukushima plant can start floating from too much groundwater. Expert blocking groundwater with ice may weaken soil and cause buildings to topple. They're already cracking and rolling and doing whatever. Um, the, the problem's just going to continue and continue. We believe molten fuel has already melted through the floors of Fukushima reactor buildings. We're still in the process of melting through. Uh, we definitely know they've already left the building. And we're talking of thousands of metric tons of this corium, which is a big soup of radioactive, toxic, plutonium, cesium, I mean the whole bit, um, at molten rock, enough to melt the bedrock, hot. Radioactive substance may have escaped Fukushima plant earlier than was admitted by TEPCO, possibly through the valves. Contaminated water released into atmosphere from rainfall, question mark? I wonder. Black rain? Anybody ever heard of that? Senior scientists on HBO, I'd worry about swimming in Hawaii's ocean starting in 2015 due to Fukushima plume. You're scaring me. Radioactive dangers from Japan are coming to a beach near you. Now, if you live on the West Coast, this is true. They're already telling you this. But don't worry, folks. There's no immediate danger. Swim on around that tsunami debris. Fukushima reactor buildings essentially now sitting in mud. Soil could disappear during a quake and bring structures down with it. That can result from what TEPCO is doing to the groundwater. Uh, Fukushima, I 
should be page one of the newspaper every day. Now this is Bill Mather on HBO. I used to be on the fence about nuclear power. I'm not anymore. If the world's going to invade a country that's poisoning us, poisoning us it should be Japan and not Syria. TEPCO researcher says it's impossible to contain radioactive wa wastewater leaking from Fukushima plants. Japanese government has lost all credibility. And you got to remember, the Japanese government owns TEPCO now, so they are one and the same. And whether they play their little uh, horse and pony show game that, you know, we're telling you what to do and you're not doing a kind of thing, it's still all the same people, all in all. And they're just the operators. It's owned by General Electric. General Electric. Fukushima plant an unprecedented crisis and it's getting worse, says Japanese nuclear official. Arnie Gunderson, they've admitted that all the boron has disintegrated in between the spent fuel at Fukushima. It can cause a nuclear chain reaction if rods get close together in the pool. And uh, all the steam coming up from uh, number three all of a sudden, huh? Chairman of TEPCO panel, future surprises are in store at Fukushima plant. Everyone should be prepared for that. And it goes on and on, of course. Over to uh, Fukushima Diary Daily News. He's got a column, Is Japanese Seafood Safe? <laughs> Japan governor consider following a suit in the World Trade Organization against South Korea for banning all fishery products from a eight prefectures, Japan's going to sue South Korea for not taking their fish. They're forcing everybody. Collapse sandbag dam of 300 meters leakage area due to the typhoon. Uh, so all this makeshift stuff they did to try to keep the water back didn't work, obviously. And uh, as is reported all over the place, a lot of water got away during that typhoon. Overflow uh, tank area worker in protective clothing under the typhoon, and that's they were out there trying to deal with all the water on top of all the saturation, on top of all the radiation. Over to informidable news, uh, they've got a story, TEPCO failed to deliver on promise to install fence to restrict contamination from leaking into the Pacific. Both Japan and TEPCO have drawn international criticism for slow responses in contaminated water leaks from the Fukushima Daiichi nuclear power plant. When Japan was lobbying to host the 2020 Olympics, which they got, by the way, Prime Minister uh, told the International Olympic Committee that the effects from the contaminated water have been perfectly blocked within the artificial bay. Of the wrecked nuclear complex and said the situation is under control. More than uh, two and a half years after the Fukushima disaster, officials in Japan have now admitted that in June of 2011, TEPCO promised to build fences to block radioactive water from leaking from the plant, but did not ever actually install the fences. At the time, TEPCO asked the government not to announce that they would have committed to construct the fence, as the utility was concerned that the $1 billion construction cost would increase its debt. They're worried about their profit margins. The government agreed not to publicize the agreement, but then TEPCO did not undertake the work they promised to complete. And here it is two and a half years later, and uh, we're putting up the popsicle dam. And uh, that has no guarantees of working. It's not looking very good at all. Finally tonight, uh, Fukushima Daiichi Disaster.com. <coughs> Japan Prime Minister wants Fukushima plant entirely scrapped. This is good news. How they're going to do it is another question. Japan Prime Minister uh, ordered the operator of the, country, operator of the com country's crippled nuclear power plant on Thursday to scrap all six reactors at the site instead of just four already stalled, uh, slated for decommissioning and concrete on tackling pressing issues like radioactive water leaks. Um, so they're saying, we're going to scrap five and six because one, two, three, and four are too big of a problem to deal with. So basically they're coming in a roundabout way that they are going to abandon this site eventually. They're going to call it cleaned up and walk away. 
The insanity continues. Of course, if I missed anything, uh, please leave your comments below. We're not allowed to post videos anymore. Uh, thanks, YouTube. Enjoy what you can, everybody. I am.